Namaste beautiful. Welcome to practice. Right now I'm going to be teaching you Surya Namaskar B, which is comes directly after Sun Salutation A, Surya Namaskar A, and the Ashtanga, all of the <laughs> all of the Ashtanga series. I put it in quite a few of my classes. As I said in the Sun Salutation A class, I believe quite a bit in Ashtanga and uh, particularly in the opening sequences for the purpose of preparing the body to then go deeper into other stuff. So let's just get straight into it. So I'm not going to go in quite as much detail as I did with Sun Salutation A. Um, if you need more detail on that part, then you can go ahead and watch Sun Salutation A. So it's more going to be little kind of tips that I do. Um, also, of course, the general alignment, but uh, yeah, I'm going to teach you how I do it, basically. Yeah. All right. So I would recommend that you have already warmed up with Sun Salutation A before going into this because it helps to warm us up and also um, stretch out the hamstrings because now we're going into Warrior Ones and Warrior One is one of the hardest poses. So be prepared. Yeah. All right. Here we go. So. Probably we would have finished our Sun Cell A's at this point when we are moving into Sun Cell B. And so our first pose is, uh, so we're, we're starting in Samasati. So we're going to chair pose. <laughs> I forgot I had to teach chair pose in this. <laughs> Which is silly of me, of course it's the first thing. Okay. So you're going to chair pose with an inhale, and the way that I do it, also the way that I was taught uh, in a lot of, uh, by some teachers to do it, is that I will come all the way down and sweep the hands on the floor. So you're taking an inhale, right? So you're inhaling, coming all the way down, sweeping the hands on the floor, and then coming up to the chair pose. And <laughs> so ideally, if we're strong enough, then our chair pose, we shouldn't be able to see the toes. Right? So we have our feet so that um, our big toes are together and our heels are slightly apart. So that's how we start all of our sun citations in Ashtanga, and including this one. So we're inhaling, we're coming, and then bending the knees. So I actually like to bring my butt like almost all the way down before I then go into the chair pose. So sweeping the hands and bringing the butt down and then kind of straightening the legs. And so then you want to be able to see the toes. Uh, you can even like lift them up if you want. And the back. Uh, <laughs> so we're kind of straight here with the back. But you can be leaning slightly forward and you want to be looking up at the fingertips. And so try not to have too much arch in the back, but you can have a little bit. It's kind of natural to have a little bit, right? <clears throat> um, yeah. Okay, so we inhale to our chair pose. And then we're exhaling and we're folding forward. So same forward fold as in A. So our belly is over the thighs. Inhaling to flat back, same as in A. So back is flat, we can be up on our fingertips, we can be on our hands, we can have our hands on our shins. What we want is for our head to be looking in front of us, for our heart to be kind of forward, and for our back to be flat here. Yeah. So inhale, and then we're going to exhale back to Chaturanga. I taught this quite a bit in A, so if you need some instruction on that, then you can go over there. Okay, so we're coming back to Chaturanga. And then inhale to upward facing. 
and then we're exhaling to downward facing and then from here we move into our uh, warrior ones so our rear padrasana ones so what I do is so we have our exhale when we come to downward dog so I then will move my left foot out 45 degrees before I take my inhale so okay so we're exhaling and then move it out 45 degrees and actually then I step forward with the right foot so you step the right foot between the hands and I don't inhale until this part um I find that it feels best to do it that way maybe there are some people who inhale before that but that's what feels best for me okay so we're going from chaturanga so we have inhale here exhale now inhale uh yeah so you can try it different ways i think that maybe I think it feels best for my lungs <laughs> to do it that way. Okay, so let's go over word one really quickly. As if I've ever done anything really quickly. Okay, <laughs> so we're turning the left foot out 45 degrees. So our heel is in the same place, which is about hip width distance um, apart from the other foot. And then we're stepping forward with our right foot in between the hands. And so now we want for our feet are still kind of in the position as if we're about hip width distance apart. Right? So we don't want them like crossed over or anything like that. We want for them to be like if we were standing and then we brought one back and we brought the other one forward. Yeah. And so ideally we have our knee um, directly over our heel and um, we have about a 90 degree angle here in our front leg one of the most difficult things about that is then <laughs> to then have our hips be square when this back leg is out 45 degrees it feels really weird in the body <laughs> And so later in the sequence, then of course we get to, or later in the series, then we get to, um, we're, so we're holding this. Uh, but for this purpose um, of Sun Salutation B, then since we're not holding it, then we try to focus on the alignment, right? So when we step forward, then um, I would recommend from the point that you step forward before you bring the arms up and come into the full expression of the pose that you're bringing your hips to be square at this point yeah so then when you bring the arms up you're already square because that's the only opportunity you get then you're going right back down yeah all right so we have chaturanga inhale upward facing exhale down they're facing turn the left leg 45 degrees step the right foot forward then inhale to virapadrasana one and then with an exhale you bring your hands back down so i place them like the same place that they were when you step the foot forward right because we're going right back in the same pose so on either side of the right foot but if you're um if your warrior one is a shorter stance, then maybe you need to place them differently. So I pay attention to where you place the foot in relation to the hands um, to kind of guide you in where you will then place them in order to then get back to your chaturanga properly. Yeah? And so then again, we inhale to upward facing, exhale to downward facing, and then we do the other side, right? So we. 45 degrees out with the right foot and even when you do this well, I didn't mention this before so even when you do this then your left hip is going to want to come in right it's just what's you know want to happen so at the point that you turn the foot out 45 degrees already be keeping the hip square as much as you can right 
And so then stepping the left foot forward, again, pulling back on the left hip and forward on the right hip. Okay, so that we're square. When we step forward and then with an inhale, brush up. So brush the hands and then bring the hands up overhead. We're looking up at the hands. Yeah. And then place the hands down again. Mm, try to get them the same place that they were when you step the left foot forward the first time because then we bring that back to Chaturanga again. Inhale to upward facing. And so to downward facing. And then same as um, Surya Namaskar A, we would take five breaths here. And then again, same as Surya Namaskar A, then we bring it forward, slowly placing the feet down. But then with our inhale, then we're coming back to our chair pose. And then with an exhale, we're standing up. Yep. All right, so let's try it a couple more times together. Um, so in Ashtanga, then we do our sun cell A's five times, and then our sun cell B's three times. It's also what I do in quite a lot of my practices because once again, I believe deeply in Ashtanga, which I'm sure we'll talk about another day, <laughs> which I'll talk about all the time. All right. <laughs> So here we go, inhale, chair pose, exhale, forward fold, inhale, part forward, head up, flat back, exhale, move it back to chaturanga, inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing, turn the left foot out 45 degrees, keeping the hips square, Step the right foot forward, continuing to keep the hips square. Inhale, brush the fingers, bring the hands up. So they're like, okay, so they can be overhead completely and then you'd be looking back and kind of like bringing the neck back, which is totally fine. Otherwise you can bring them slightly um, forward and be looking up this way, yeah, all right. Place the hands down with an exhale, come back to Chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing. Exhale to downward facing. Turn the right foot out 45 degrees, keeping the hip square. Step the left foot forward, continuing to keep the hip square. Brush the fingers with an inhale, come up, look up at the hands, coming into warrior one, pulling the left hip back and the right hip forward. Exhale, bring the hands down to chaturanga, inhale to upward facing, exhale to downward facing, holding for five breaths, checking the alignment, keeping the hands so that they are shoulders with distance apart, the fingers so that the pointer finger is pointing forward, armpits are looking toward each other, our head is looking toward the navel, our hips are up and back, our spine is nice and straight, our legs are nice and straight, our toes are in front of the heels so we can't really see the heels. And after five breaths, then we move it forward. So we take our little float, we land the feet, we inhale to chair pose, and exhale, samasati. Yeah? All right, let's do it one more time, real time. Ah, da, 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 da. ready? <laughs> Here we go. And inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, head up, heart forward, flat back. Exhale, move it back to chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Turn the left. 45 degrees, step the right foot forward, inhale, warrior one, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing, 
Turn the right foot 45 degrees. Step the left foot forward, keeping the hips square. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing, holding for five breaths. Ah, hands are shoulders width distance, pointer fingers facing forward, looking toward the navel, hips up and back, feet hip width distance, heels behind the toes. And after five breaths, we look at the hands and we float it forward with an inhale. Chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart center, samastati. Ah, oh, beautiful. All right. So that's that. I hope that it was helpful. Uh, I again, I put it in a lot of my sequences, so uh, <laughs> I just thought I should teach it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you for being here, for allowing me to guide you, and I hope I see you in a future class. Love. And another mistake.